The Egyptian army is in control tonight after ousting the first democratically elected president, Mohamed Morsi, and installing a top judge as interim president. Protesters had been demanding Morsi's removal, but he has his supporters among the Muslim Brotherhood, and the military began cracking down on them today. Clarissa Ward is in Cairo. Egyptians woke up to a new president and a clear reminder of who put him there as fighter jets wheeled over Tahrir Square, leaving a vapor trail in the colors of the Egyptian flag. Today, the military were out in force in areas where clashes have taken place. Some people honked their horns to show their appreciation of the army. But not all the reactions were as friendly. Morsi supporters mobbed an armored vehicle near Cairo University. Clashes followed. The military says that it is here to protect people attending a pro-Morsi rally at the end of the street. But people inside the rally say that they feel they're being trapped. Among them, we found Muslim Brotherhood spokesman Gihad al Haddad. He complained that more than a dozen Muslim Brotherhood leaders have been arrested and at least three pro Morsi TV stations shut down. You feel like you're under attack? Of course, we're under attack. The military is trying to dismantle the Brotherhood machine and the Brotherhood organization, apparently for fear that if they actually hold the presidential election, we might show up for it and we might win it again. An army helicopter flew overhead, prompting outrage from the pro-Morsi crowd. That's my president, that's my president, this man shouted. They waved their shoes, a sign of deep disrespect in the Arab world. Morsi is now in military custody. His last message urged supporters not to accept what he called a military coup. Tomorrow, the Muslim Brotherhood is organizing another protest rally, this time called a Day of Rejection. The only thing that we have is the will of the people, nothing more. And the only thing that they have is the power of the tanks. It will fail. It failed before in many countries. Jeff, the man who will have a large part in determining whether Egypt's next chapter is a failure or a success is the country's new president, former Chief Justice Adli Mansour. Now, very little is actually known about Mansour, but in his inauguration speech today, he said that elections are the only way forward, though he didn't specify when those elections might take place. And he also extended uh, an olive branch to the Muslim Brotherhood, saying that they were invited to participate in building the nation. Clarissa, we see those crowds are still behind you tonight. I wonder if you can give us a sense of the mood. Is it different than yesterday? Well, the mood behind me is still festive. These crowds are still cheering and celebrating. But elsewhere in Egypt, the scene is not as festive. There are clashes ongoing in Cairo and also in Morsi's hometown. And the question now really is, will the violence heat up or cool down? Clarissa Ward in Cairo. Thank you.